Hi, let's have some fun with mathematics, okay? So this is an IQ test. We are asked to find the value of this, okay? All right, now let's do it together. Let's find the pattern that this that they followed, okay? Let's find the pattern. This is not actually easy, but let's do it together. Now let's see. If we say two plus um two plus eight. 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6. 2 plus 8 will give us 10, right? And 10 plus 7 will give us uh, 17. 17 plus 6 will give us 23. Okay. Let's see. Now let's add this row. 9 plus 5 will give us um, 14. Now this is also 9 plus 5. That is 14. 14 plus 14 will give us 28. Oh. That's not the pattern. Okay, let's try something else. Ah, so what do we do now? All right, let's go to the rows. Let's go to the rows. Um, to the column. Sorry, two plus nine is um eleven, right? Eleven plus nine is twenty. Okay, so two plus nine plus nine is twenty. We are going to look at three IQ tests. Three, okay? All right. Now, eight plus five is 13. 13 plus seven is 20. Wow. Okay? Eight plus five plus seven is 20. Now, seven plus nine is 16. And 16 plus four is 20. <laughs> we have gotten it. Okay, let's have fun, everyone. Let's go. That means that what we need is 6 plus 5 plus this. We give us 20, right? Now, 6 plus 5 is 11. So, 11 plus what? We give us 20. That should be 20 minus 11 and this 9. Wow. So, this is our solution. Yeah, if you got this even before you watched it, let me know in the comment section. Okay, if you got it on your own before I explained it, let me know in the comment section. Okay, the second IQ test. The second one is this. Okay, we have this triangle. This one. The second one. The third one, the fourth one. Note, the size of the triangle doesn't matter. They are the same size. The dimension is equal. All right. Now we have two, two, six. We have four, one, three. We have three, two, five. Three, two, five. And then we are looking for this, and we have one, zero. <laughs> now, these are the options. These are the options. One, two, three, four. Okay, option A is one. Option B is two. Option C is three. And option D is four. You can pause the video and try it yourself. You can do that. Let's have fun, okay? And if you actually got... The solution before we solved it let me know all right okay now let's do this together let's do it together two plus two we give us four so it's not actually six that means this plus this will not give us this side okay what if we say two plus two is four plus two that is the first one it will give us six wow let's do this again now four plus three is what is seven plus four is obviously not one so this is not going to work Whew, this is not working all right now let's do again let's check again six times two is twelve twelve divided by six is two wow okay one times three is three three divided by one is obviously not four Whew. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Now, this is it. We're actually focusing our mind inside the triangles. 
let's think outside the box. Let's think outside the box. Now see, six plus two is eight plus one plus this one, okay? So we have, we already know our options, one, two, three, four. So let me just, hang. so we have six plus two plus one plus one. Six plus two plus one plus one, and that is 10, right? Okay, now let's do this side. Two plus three plus five plus zero. Let's see. Two plus three plus five plus zero. And this is what? 10. Wow. <laughs> Oh, you have found it. But let's not rejoice. That is it. It worked for this, 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 and this, and also for this, 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 and this. That means we need to add this to this to this to this to get 10. So it's going to be 2 plus 4. That is this 2 plus this 4 plus this 3. Then plus what? We give us 10, right? So if we solve that, we have 4 plus 3, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9. So we have 9 plus what we give us 10, and the obvious answer is what? 1. So this is what? 1. Wow! If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to do it. Click on that. Uh, subscription button and then on your notification bell so that will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Like I said, if you solved this before us, let us know in the comment section. Okay, it says you are going to answer up to four IQ questions. Let's answer up to four. Let's answer up to four. Now, this one says, Which number comes next in the sequence? Which number? comes next in the sequence. Which number comes next in the sequence? And we have zero. We have um, two. We have six. We have um, 12. We have um, 20. We have 30. Then, which number comes next? That is the question. Now, I will pause a bit. No, you pause the video and see if you can get the solution, the next number. Okay? Now, the options are okay, the options are not given. The options are not given. The options are not given. Okay, now, how did they get this? It's easy. Yes, it is. This is zero, right? Now, for you to get the next value, which is two, all you need to do is this one is zero plus. For us to get this, our even number starts from two, right? So to get this is going to be zero plus two to give us two. Okay? Now, to get the next one, it's going to be this two plus four. 4 is the next even number after 2. And you are going to get what? 6, which is this one. Now, to get 12, it's going to be what? 6 plus the next even number after 4 is 6. So you are going to get 12, which is this one. Okay? Now, the next one is 20. To get 20, it's going to be what? This 12 plus... After six, the next even number is eight. Plus eight, we give us 20. So let's do the same again for 30. For 30, is going to be what? Um, 20 plus the next even number after eight is 10. So you have 30. As easy as that. So that means that if we want to get the next number, all the all we need to do is rewrite what this 30 
plus the next even number after 10 is 12. So our solution is 42. Let me know if you got this even before we solve this together. Okay, let's solve one more IQ question. Then maybe in my next video, I'll still do more IQ questions or IQ texts, okay? All right. Um, let's solve one more. You have this circle. The size does not matter. It's because I'm, I'm drawing it with hand, okay? The size does not matter. Then we have this. All our circles, okay? Forget that this looks like oval, <laughs> is an oval shape. All of them are circles and the size does not matter, all right? So we have 13, we have three. We have seven, we have four, we have five. We have 15, we have one. This one is inside here. And we have 10. So we are asked to find this. Pause the video and let me see what you got. Okay, now these are the options. Option A is um, 77. Option B is 8. Option C is 9. Option D is 1. So we are asked to find this. You can pause and let's do it together. Now let's solve this. What does, how do we get this? This is the easiest. This is actually the easiest. Once you look at this particular question, it's actually the easiest. Now, I believe by now you must have solved it yourself. Let me know if you got it before us in the comment section. Okay? All right. So let's solve now. It's going to be 13 plus 3. Now, in each circle, all the numbers, they add up to something. Now, let's see. 13 plus 3 will give us 16, right? Okay. Now, 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 5 is also 16. Now, 15 plus 1 is also 16. Okay. This is also a circle, right? 10 plus 1 plus 5 is also 16. That means that what you are looking for is what? 3 plus 4 plus what? We give us 16. Now, what will the solution be? 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus what will give us 16? So, 7 plus what is equal to 16? Now, it means that our x, let's just call it x, is equal to 16 minus 7. And the solution is 9. So, this is our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you for always stopping by to watch. And if you are a new viewer, I wish to see you next time. Bye.